Hi, I'm going to show you how to draw a principal ray diagram for a biconvex lens. So say I have this biconvex lens and I have these, uh, have these two focal points defined and I want to see what happens when I place a source of light, an object, in front of that lens. So I'm just going to put my object, and I like to draw people, so I'm going to draw a person, and let's see what happens when we draw the principal rays for this particular physical situation. So these are a little bit harder than the biconvex lens. It's not quite as uh, intuitive, but just uh, you know, write down the rules and, and uh, remember them, practice a little bit, and you'll get the hang of it. Okay, so I'm going to take the top of the person's head as the source of light, um, and that emits rays in all directions. Some of One of those rays is going to hit this lens parallel to the principal axis. So the principal axis is defined as the line connecting the two focal points. So I'm going to draw a line parallel to that that comes off the top of the person's head and hits the lens. So what happens to parallel rays So when they hit the lens? Well, parallel rays diverge as if they came from this focal point on this side. So what I do is I connect my ruler up with that dot, the focal point on the same side, and then I have it leave in a line connecting that. Okay, So that would be the P ray. It leaves as if it came from the focal point on the other side. Okay, The F ray, what you do is you go towards the focal point on the other side. So I line up my ruler, the top of the person's head, with the focal point on the other side. And then when it intersects the lens, I have it, of course it bends twice, but I'm only going to have one representative bend in the middle, and it leaves parallel. So remember that the F and P rays are kind of opposite of each other. So focal point to parallel for this one, parallel to the, uh, from the focal point for the other one. So this one goes towards the focal point on the other side and leaves parallel to that. And then we can draw a third line through the center of the lens. So we can do that as well. And remember that that one, that for either for a biconcave or biconvex lens, if you go right through the middle, then it should go straight. Okay, maybe getting diverted just a tiny bit, but more or less a straight path. Okay, so I have all of these rays going through this lens. And if I look on this other side, well, they don't seem to be converging. They don't. They don't. Uh, converge to a point, so I don't have a real image. Okay, what I do have is a virtual image on the other side. So I can, uh, what you do when you have a virtual image is you take the point of view of an observer over here. Where would they think these rays had originated from if they hadn't hit the uh, hadn't hit the lens? Of course, we know it comes from here, but if we think about where these rays appear to have originated from then we can locate the image for the observer on the other side. So uh, what we do is we take the outgoing rays and then draw dotted lines going backwards. And then I do the same thing with this one, with the outgoing P ray. And then the, uh, for the one that goes through the center, that one it's hard to draw the dotted line because it just goes back over its original path. So there it is. Uh, that's the location of the image. So let's extrapolate to the rest of the person's body and they look a little shorter. Okay, So what can we say about the image? Okay, So there's our object. Here is our image. Um, it is because we extrapolated backwards for an observer from the other side uh, that would qualify as virtual. Um, it is smaller. Of course we could get out a ruler and measure the relative heights and uh, calculate a ratio if we wanted to determine the magnification. Uh, we could also measure the object and image distance if, uh, if we wanted using a ruler. Um, and remember by convention this image distance uh, is for the virtual images is, is going to be negative just like the, the focal lengths are, are also negative. Okay so um, I've shown you how to uh, do principal ray diagram for a biconvex lens. Thanks for watching.